Stefan Cook. I'm a senior. I am a sports journalism major with a minor in communications. Shenzhen, we are here. How's your feeling? It's uh, wonderful to be here. And uh, Shenzhen is kind of the heart of the GBA, and we are at the heart of Shenzhen. So we have many, many te technology companies here. So based on your opinion, um, what is uh, what can be called a good technology, or uh, you can say something like that? Uh, I think, in terms of good technology, I think the technology that really helps people is some yeah, of the best technology yeah. that can be developed. So uh, today we are going to see a company in Shenzhen. So their principle is to maintain the accessibility and to build a barrier-free environment for the disability people. Um, also, they, uh, some of the equipment they also used in some competitions and activities. I think that sounds really cool. Can't wait to take a look. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. This place is mainly for providing assistive devices support during the national games and para games. Yeah, that's really meaningful. This is our brain challenge. It is using the AI technology to use the eyes, such as the blindness, or the blind children's kung fu training. I will show you how to use this project to achieve the effect of the kung fu training. It is using the skin scan. 然后接触到我的皮肤，然后感应到我的这个就是脑电波的一个数值，嗯。Crazy， yeah， 可以试一下吗？可以通过这个可以看到，就是各类的。And you can like track your progress. Yeah. With the... Using your attention to control them. As soon as I get some relax, and so it will start moving. I feel like I'm just using a lot of my brain. I'm just like concentrating really hard. I'm just like... Okay, I'll try concentrating on this. Got wow. some dialogues. Mm -hmm. Yours is really moving. How do you get it to move like that? Um, just not be distracted by, by the surroundings. Seems that your the dinosaur can lay the eggs. Very I'm going slowly but surely. Seems like yours ran away. Yeah, I don't know why. You got some tips on the concentration part. I am just trying to imagine it move. In my mind. Yeah, wow. Yeah, that was so <laughs> fast meaning, so amazing, right? Yeah. 这个是导盲的眼镜，支持咱们残套会。我把眼镜带到咱们现场去实际体验一下。So I guess how specific can the description from the glasses be? 刚好借了咱们这次十五运残套会的现场，我给大家操作一下。它就是一键操作。导盲兔为您看见。你面前是一座大型体育场，场内有绿色草坪，周围是蓝色座椅，顶部有一个半圆形的屋顶结构，远处可以看到一些广告牌。Sounds like it takes in a lot of information. Yes. 比如说我是盲人，我要走到这个位置，我想知道我的座位的位置，那我就对准我的这个呃大概的一个方向就可以了。导盲兔为您看见，你面前是两块标识牌。左边的标识牌上写着四十减一，右边的标识牌上写着十六排，中间有数字十七排
，他就把我们的座位的这个信息全部已经通过这个声音播报给我了啊、哦，非常准确的信息啊、嗯。比如说上面有什么人在跑动，穿什么样衣服，他会给你一个简单的描述。嗯，这个是我们的全地形无障碍机器人，然后也是咱们十五运残奥会的服务器具，它是可以直接爬楼。You know this wheelchair. It's so advanced, high tech. How does the technology in it even work, though? 所有的残障人士都可以坐着我们这一台无障碍的爬楼梯机器人，通过四面八方的门口进入赛区。它是通过了全场景智能平衡算法，通过六轴的陀螺仪和 AI 的预判系统，对我们的。全道路型的啊转弯啊，还有这个上楼梯啊，包括坐姿的变换，我们所有的加工和所有的软件芯片的集成，都来自于中国制造。It's a very cool product, a very interesting product. So这么小的一个机器人呢，也是因为现在人形这个行业还没有特别的成熟，然后小型的话会对于开发者来说会更安全，然后也更便携。这个蓝色一号是叫Mini 派，是因为它的外观就长得很像那个那个三点一四一五